It's always great to learn about the stories of the past And how we went from moving slow to moving so darn fast so Sit back and relax and learn something you didn't know Here's a little history from the moat all right, welcome back to the Mo. Today we're going to be exploring our early history timeline a little bit. We're going to be talking about the Mason Hotel, uh, specifically the coffee shop. We're going to take an artifact focus and look at the menu that we have here in our collection. Arkansas native John Monroe Davis began a lifelong hobby of collecting guns at the age of seven. In 1916, he traded 2,000 acres of Arkansas timberland for Claremore's Hotel Mason. The acquisition of the hotel provided a venue for the display of his guns as well as his collections of beer steins, John Rogers statuettes, sandals, clocks, bows and arrows. His gun collection held many guns of historical note and grew to be the largest private gun collection in the world. His collections are now housed in the J.M. Davis Arms and Historical Museum located on Route 66, J.M. Davis Boulevard here in Claiborne. All right, we're gonna show off a couple of things today. So this is the Mason Coffee Shop menu. Check this out. I don't know if I've seen a menu this small, thinking about it now. They're usually quite large. This is a nice change. So inside here, we have got some of the cheapest things I've ever seen. We got wheat cakes with bacon, ham, or sausage for 55 cents. So some time ago. One of uh, the most delicious things, I guess you could say, would be stewed prunes. Everybody loves stewed prunes. 25 cents for a whole batch of them here. Uh, this is a really cool menu, super excited to have that in our collection, let you guys kind of take a look at that, and uh, then I want to show you a little bit here um, about the mason door, alright, this is the door handle on the old hotel here, isn't that incredible, I can't imagine how many people touch this handle, it's kind of gross thinking about it now. But still really historically cool. Uh, some great decorative work on this handle too. I wish they still made handles like that today. Maybe they do, they're probably just pretty pricey. Thanks for tuning in today. We wanted to remind you about the Rogers County Farmers Market. So every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. right out here in front of the museum in Lynn Riggs Park, we'll, uh, we'll be here and we'll be handing out Rogers County Farmers Market bags. All right, these are grocery totes. So the first 20 visitors, so if you come early enough, you get one of these. On the back side here is a really great uh, piece from RCB, Shop Local. We love RCB Bank. So make sure and thank RCB Bank if you see them and come out and uh, support the market, all right?